Hello everyone, this video tutorial is just a review on what we did in our first math meet last week. Just in case you were there late or you weren't able to attend, this video is for you so that you can catch up and next time we meet you'll be more comfortable with the software. We're at www.desmos.com. I want you to go there and you're going to get this screen and I want you to hit Launch Calculator. When you hit Launch Calculator, this is the screen you'll get. You notice that on the right side of the screen you'll have graph paper and on the left side of the screen you'll have little windows where you're going to input your equations. And on our Meet, we learned how to draw straight lines and parabolas and that's what I'm going to go over with you now. Before we go ahead and work on these, I want you to notice that this coordinate plane is in increments of 2. Notice that this line here, this one that's vertical, this is called the y-axis. This axis is in increments of 2. It goes from 0 to 2, 4, 6, and underneath here it's the negative numbers, negative 2, negative 4, negative 6. And this other axis, this one that goes from left to right, this is called the x-axis. This axis is also in increments of 2. But I want this to be in increments of 1. So to do that, you're going to go over here to the right where you have this plus sign right here, and you're going to hit it once. And when you do that, notice now that I have increments of 1. Okay, now as I was saying, this is the y-axis, the vertical one, that one that goes up and down the y-axis. Now let's say I want to draw a straight line that is horizontal. Okay, Horizontal means from left to right. Let's say I want this line to pass through this point which is point 2 on the y-axis. Well since I want my graph that's a straight line to pass through this point and it's hitting the y-axis at point 2, this is what you need you need to write y equals 2. And notice that when I wrote that, I get a line that goes straight across and hits the y-axis at y equal to 2. How about if I want to draw a straight line that goes across 1 and hits the x-axis at 1? Well, you can add a window underneath here by tapping underneath and you'll get a new window to type in a new equation. So um, I'm going to write y is equal to 1 and notice I got that graph y equals to 1. Now let's say I want my graph to hit 0. I want to hit y equal to 0. So my graph would have to be called y equals 0. And there you get that straight line going across from left to right, hitting the y-axis at y equal to 0. And I think you get the idea on how to have a horizontal line. Now let's say I want a vertical line. Vertical lines are going up and down. Let's say I want a line going through this point here, negative 1, and I want it to be vertical. Now since a vertical line will hit the x-axis at that point, then my graph has to be called x equal to something. So I'm going to hit a new window and I'm going to write x is equal, let's say, negative 1, and watch what happens. There it is. Here's my vertical line, and it's crashing the y-axis, the, I'm sorry, the x-axis at the value x equal to negative 1. Let's say I want to hit the x-axis at 4. So if I want a vertical line going through point 4 at the x-axis, I input. Here's another way to input a new window. You can also hit plus sign here and then hit expression and you will get a new window. So I'm going to write x equals 4. There it is. I get a line that's vertical going up and down and it crashes the y-axis right here at x equal to 4. So basically that's what we did um, in our math meet, our math club meet last week. We also worked on lines that are not uh, vertical or horizontal lines. We also worked on diagonal lines. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to erase or delete 
these lines that we've just created, okay? And I'm going to start a new one by clicking here in this area. And here I want to show you what a diagonal line looks like. It's going to start with the letter Y equals, and then I'm going to say equals X. And notice how this line, diagonal line, shows up. Now watch what happens if instead of writing Y equals to X, I write Y equals to two X's. You see that? The red line here is y equal to 2x. How about if I write y is equal to 2x plus y is equal to 2x plus 3. There it is. y equals to 2x plus 3 is a line that will, let me pull this graph down a little bit, and you can do this by uh, clicking your left mouse button and, and scrolling, holding to that and scrolling your graph around. Notice how I can move my graph anywhere I want to. So I scroll down just to be closer to this value and I can see it more clearly. Y equals to 2x plus 3. Just took my graph and moved it three spaces up. Okay, here is the red one. Let me erase the first one so you can see more clearly. The red one is y equal to 2x. If you want to bring this line up three spaces, then you would add 3, okay? If I want to move it up four spaces, then I would write y is equal to 2x plus 4. And watch what happens. You see, I get a line that is up four spaces from the original. And you can guess what's going to happen if I do minus, if I do y is equal to 2x minus 1, there it is. Whoops, I didn't get the 2x. Here's the 2x minus 1. Notice here it is. It's like taking the original, which was 2x, and bringing it down one unit. If I want to bring it down three units, I can write y is equal to 2x minus 3. And see, you get a line that shifts or translates down 3 units. And that's what happens with these graphs. And you can play around and see what happens when you, instead of 2x, you can hit 4x, etc. So you can play around with this. Now I'm going to show you the parabolas. So let me erase all of these. And with parabolas, we used our little calculator that's in this program. Here's a calculator right here, this little keyboard. It's a keypad. If you hit on there, you have like this little uh, calculator that you can use. And we're going to be using this button here, which is squaring the value of a variable. So here's what a parabola looks like, and this is the equation. Why? is equal to x to the second power. So to do to the second power, I'm going to hit this button. And there you have your parabola. Let me scroll this down a little bit so it's uh, better to see. There you have it. y is equal to x squared. Now, if I want to take this function and I want to play around with it, bring it up, bring it down, I'm going to hit a new window here and I'm going to write y is equal to x squared I'm going to use this button here, x squared, and then I'm going to write plus, let's say, 2. And did you see what happened? It took that same parabola we had originally, and it brought it up two units. So let's look at this, see, right there. This is my original parabola, and now I have the one that says plus 2. So what it does, it translates this up two units. And I know you know what's going to happen if I write instead of plus 2. How about if I write x squared minus 5? Let's check it out. Here it is. Here's minus 5. What happened? Well, it came down 5 units. So whenever I hit plus, it's going to move up. If I hit minus, it's going to move down 5 units, okay? Now, how about if I want to change it from left to right? What if I want to shift this from left to right? Well, let's do a new window. You're going to write this. y is equal to 
parentheses, use your parentheses. You can use your parentheses on your keyboard or let me go back. You could use the parentheses on this keypad if you want to. Then you can write x plus 4 and then move your cursor over once so it's outside the parentheses and then square it. And there you have it. Watch this. Let me scroll this. Do you see what happened? This function, which is x squared, the original one, the very first one we graphed, let me erase these two so that there's not that many functions on here. And when I wrote plus 4, look at what happened. The function moved to the left four units. What do you think will happen if instead of writing plus 4 inside the parentheses, I write minus 4? Let's check that out y is equal, let's use our parentheses, and then we're going to write x minus 4, and then move our cursor to the right once so that we're outside the parentheses and square, and let's go look at our coordinate plane. There it is. When I hit minus 4, it moved to the right. So it's kind of backwards, right? If I use plus inside the parentheses, it's going to move to the left. And if I write minus, it'll move to the right. Okay, and this is very interesting. This is called a quadratic equation, okay? And you can play around with this one too. Watch what happens if I write a number in front of it, of the one that's here on the left. If I write 5, it gets thinner. If I write a fraction, like one half, it gets wider. You see that? And watch what happens when I write a negative number. Watch this. Negative two. Ooh. It goes upside down. Okay? So go ahead and I encourage you to play around with the program a little bit so that you'll be acquainted with all that you can do with these two kinds of equations. I'll see you in our next Math Club Meet. Have a great day.